Hi, Tim Bigham for Delta Derivatives, Option Hedges and Edges, powered by the best option scanning tools on the market today, rbtrader.com. And we're really looking at a overall market that needs some big time power. We've been in this trading range all of January option expiration. We had a 2% trading range from top to bottom. That's on an intraday basis. If you do it on a closing basis, you're actually looking at about 1.5%. So things are getting very quiet indeed. We see the VIX, you know, trading around that 1150 level. Would not surprise me at all to see that, uh, you know, long awaited 10 handle close. So option price is getting very cheap. I'm nibbling on some puts, the regularly February traditionals, trading at almost an 8. And eight, yes, IV. So things are getting very complacent. When things get this kind of complacent, I get nervous. And certainly, probabilistically, I don't mind buying an eight vowel uh, looking for any kind of pullback along the road here. On uh, different fronts, we're looking at uh, stocks that we kind of like here. One name is Target TGT. They came out with some uh, somewhat lowered guidance last week. Stock's been annihilated down 10% since they announced lowered guidance, uh, approaching some two-year support levels around 62.50. So I'm simply going out to the regular February again, traditionals, selling the 62.50 puts, buying the 60 puts underneath for protection, getting about 60 cent credit, looking for about a 30% return if target stays above that 62.50 level from now to February expiration. Earnings come after that February expiration. So I think Target will probably consolidate around here in front of earnings. On the other front, we're looking at huge repeated call buying in CENX. Century Aluminum stock is up almost 100% since mid-January. No news really, obviously. Uh, always you look for kind of takeover uh, kind of chatter on this, but this is one I think just keeps feeding on itself as volume begets volume. Price action begets price action. We're finally seeing a little slowdown in the shares. Stock approaching uh, that $15 level and change. So I'm simply going out buying the March $15 puts, looking for any kind of pullback here or even profit taking. Implied vol, which had been up elevated, really has come down now since that rally continued. So I'm just positioning with some puts. Not really looking for a collapse, but yeah, I mean, even a pullback of you know one point, given the stocks of eight and a half, would double these puts in price. So again, looking in this market that really has stalled out here, we're looking at valuations getting stretched, certainly earnings coming out. Okay, interest rates not providing that you know tailwind anymore. Uh, we're looking again, you know, at uh, stock buybacks slowing. Although a name like Target, which has a almost four percent yield and a history of stock buybacks, kind of fits the bill going forward. So uh, until next time, as always, here's to good trading. Take care.